In today's video, we're going to be learning how to tie a mini monkey's fist zipper pull or key fob. Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. So today we're tying the uh, mini monkey's fist, as I just said, and you can see it here next to the um, kind of standard quote unquote uh, three pass monkey's fist. This one has no marble in the core. Uh, this one also has no marble. Um, yeah, you can do this with a small piece of paracord and a bit of time and patience, but it is a two pass miniature monkey's fist perfect for zipper pulls and whatnot the um the little three pass might be a little bit too big for you know jackets and whatnot but i think this is perfect i mean look how tiny that is isn't it cute so anyways uh that's what we're doing today guys i hope you will enjoy it remember if you're looking for paracord and all the uh, tools and stuff i use in the video you can find that in the uh description box down below in my affiliate links and also guys if you uh, really want to you can check out what i have to offer on patreon all right so that being said let's get into the tutorial so to start off this mini monkey's fist, we're going to take one end of the paracord and we're going to tie a simple overhand knot like so. Okay, like that. Then now get that overhand knot all the way to the end of your cord as close as possible. And then pull it tight. Okay, this will be the core of our mini monkey's fist. From here, you're going to take that knot Sandwich it in between your fingers. We're going to start doing our passes. This is going to be a two pass mini monkey's fist. So we're going to go down and over one, two. Okay. And keep that knot in the middle there. Then you're going to go and work with your opposite end now because we want to create that loop to make the zipper pull. So from here, we're going to go take this working end, bring it behind and to the left of your passes. There's that strand there. And start bringing it towards you. Okay. So you can use your fingers on the bottom here to just kind of tension that. So you can start pulling. And then now go around twice this way. There's one. And bring it to this side here. Okay. Keep it tight like that. Okay, so I'm just bringing it to this side, but we're actually going to be taking this strand and going through the top where my finger is. So now from here, take your fingers out of the uh, knots. So now I'm going to carefully remove my fingers before they turn purple and fall off, like so. Okay, now hold everything together. And from here, see this strand on the right we're working with? We're now going to go through the top, come towards you like that. And then put it through the bottom like so. And again, you're going to do your two passes. Try to keep all your cords nicely stacked so they're not uh, overlapping. Bring that through the bottom and once more through the top to make that final second pass. Okay. There we go. Now from here we tighten. This part is going to be a little difficult because the monkey fist is so small. So try not to go insane. Uh, let's see. So this is going to be the loop. You can always adjust that later. I'm going to just pull down on it a little bit and see these top three strands. Make sure they're nicely lined up. Okay. So I'm going to pull down on this one and then I'm going to pull down on this one. And you're just going to slowly work all that slack out. So that made the loop bigger. That's fine. I kind of want the loop a little bit bigger anyway. So pull this through here. And just very carefully keep, try to keep track of which strand you're pulling on. Because I know it can get frustrating. You can start going back and forth and make no progress. But just be very aware of which strand you're working with. And slowly but surely, you'll get all that excess out. So eventually, we want to get all the excess out on this side. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to get this uh, monkey's fist as tight and as small as possible so it looks good. 
and then we will be done. See, almost there. Just going to tighten it up a little more. Okay, got that monkey's fist tightened up and it looks great. So now we're just going to snip and singe the cord off. I'm going to snip it and melt it. And uh, you could just leave it like that, you know, clip the cord and melt it there. You'll have a little melted bit. But uh, what I'm going to do in the time lapse, I'm going to show you, I'm going to clip it off, melt it, and I'm just going to pull it underneath and hide it under here. I'm going to tuck it in. I'm going to see how that works out. I've done that in my other video. You don't have to do that, but I think it makes a nice looking monkey's fist. Okay, and there we have it, we are done. So I tucked that knot, or that melted end, right underneath, kind of lost it, actually did a pretty good job. Uh, yeah, it's right there, here it is. So I tucked it into the monkey's fist, and it's nice and clean now, I don't like that melted end sticking out. And this is ready to be uh, put onto your keychains, or you know, backpack, whatever you like. All right, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe as well for more great paracord videos. And I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. Bye.